All right, Bakari, with uh, with the additions of, of Reggie and, and now Eric Curry um, and them, how, how has kind of competing against them in, in practice improved your game? Yeah, absolutely. It's great like, uh, because like we always try like to compete and show the coach who's the best in the court, you know, yeah. and then that's good challenging and then that's a good thing for us because that push you like how you really can play. Because when you can play against those guys and then most, uh, demonstrate to the coach how you're capable to dominate or to play, that will push you to be a good spot for when the season starts. Okay. Mm -hmm. What parts of your game do you think you've improved from last year? I would say like, every aspect, like what does the coach want me to do, mm -hmm. especially like a defensive point, like a rebounding, around the floor, boxing out, like trying to be like more aggressive with no fouling. Okay. Patino's really talked up Eric Curry, and I, I, I thought he looked good at practice. Mm -hmm. what, um, is, is there anything that really stands about Eric? Stands out with Eric to you? Uh, like it's impressive. Like it, mm -hmm. it's like kind of type of uh, Murph. What is like people don't know about him. Mm -hmm. And he comes to practice. He can show you like a lot of skill offensively. He can be crafty. Mm -hmm. You know, for his size and then for the freshman, like young. You know, and he is angry to have like playing time. You know, he want to compete with a veteran guy and show like how he can do. And that's great excitement mm -hmm. for him and for the team. Because that will push us to the right position where we want to win, you know, and it does great. Do you think Eric is, is just as far along as as uh, Murph was in terms of their, their freshman year when, when they came in? Honestly, or that be a little bit too lofty? Honestly, it's hard for me to say that yeah. because we have to see real yeah. game because that's only practice. Yeah. And then those practice, the game is different. Mm -hmm. You will see one of the good start and when you start like that, when you start respond. Cool. I probably got to work on just being more consistent and being able to like to stop getting down on myself when I make a bad mistake or something like that, pretty much. That's all. Eric, there's been a lot of people talking you up. Do you have any goals or, or expectations for yourself? Uh, just to be the best player I can be this year and help this team out a lot. And whatever, we, whatever they need me to do, just being able to contribute right away. So what positions do you feel like you can guard? <laughs> I can guard a 3, 4, and 5. I, I pretty much, in practice, we usually like running like a four. Like whenever I guard a ball screen, we can switch it with me. Sure. So I'm pretty much in guard, like any one through five, to be honest. Do you, have you played any offensive three? I mean, I'm assuming no, that hasn't no. been the case. Yeah, no, that hasn't been the case at all. I haven't played three. Pretty much four and five. Yeah, how much have you bounced back and forth between four and five? Uh, a lot, probably every day. I bounce between those two positions every day. Is there much difference? No, not really. I really all oh, just the four, the four usually build up a perimeter a lot. I go down there occasionally, but the five I'm usually always down there, so pretty much not that big of a difference. Is it only struggle with playing the five and kind of having to give it up that outside shot? Oh, uh, not really, because I'm, I'm I'm still able to pop when I'm at the five, so it's not really giving up the shot at all. So it's cool. <laughs> usually I look at people like Draymond Green now, mm -hmm. with, with him able to like to switch on any guard or anything like that. Uh, I like his versatility on the defensive end. Um, who else is very versatile? Joaquin Noah is a very good defensive versatile. Has very, very good defensive skills. Um, I really don't know. Guys who are balanced, guys with long arms, yeah. guys, guys who know how to pressure people for yeah. not foul. Yeah, just being just being able to just to keep somebody in front of you, being able to get deflections and stuff like that. I, I take pride in it, so I pretty much like playing defense a lot. Do you feel uh, pretty comfortable with Patino's uh, system and, and the sets that he runs? Um, I mean, are, are you? Do you feel like you're going to be kind of ready to go from, yeah, from game I feel, one? I feel like I feel like I fit in his system very well. So that was, that was one of my big things of coming here. Like I feel like I can fit in his style of play very well. In mm -hmm. practice, I fit in like really good, and so I like it a lot.